Most, Come on. Most of you guys know my feelings about Fly Fly Morph. Uh, <laughs> if anybody has to play Morph, it's usually in my idea emo that should be playing him. And when I see Fly Fly Morph, I see Elfin taking the game. But it's obviously, more you about securing Morphin's right? farm here instead of uh, getting the kills. So they are going to play defensively on the top lane. Lion. About to hit level three, still needs a point. Bottom, GT they're going on trouble. him. Stun is available. Showing touch, stun misses. comes in and it misses. Yuris oh, gets first blood over Last onto JT. They had been pressuring the tower. Somnus one point in Searing Chains, so you can dispel it. If you start playing aggressive, AA will TP mid, refill the bottle. FY, hit with the Vortex. And this might be an issue. They're gonna come over. Somnus looking to help. Sight of Fist, there's the Illusion Rune. Ball Lightning still trying to kill off FY, but the Cold Feet isn't enough damage. Might be afterwards, and Somnus with that Flame Guard burns out Nemo, but they got the kill onto Eurus bottom. Okay, so that's a good trade. Overall, I mean, the game's sitting even. Who does this benefit more at the moment? Hmm. Looking at the late game potential, I think IG just has better heroes Ooh, in the late game Evo. mid. Coming around with the wrap, and Kaka's dead too. Somnus with a double kill. Really well done there by Elephant. So they collapse over on mid. They're going to bring over this Mars, the arena, and it's only going to catch Ollie. Should be able to get this kill still. Ice Blast comes down, doesn't hit on the JT. They only got one. They wanted the Night Stalker, they won't get it. They're gonna bring over Ali Kaka as well as Five Flight. Yours goes to the Blade Fury into the TP out. That's the problem. I love, I said before the game started how they covered this Juggernaut pick nicely. Banned out Legion Commander, banned out Axe. Ooh, so they, they have no emo. BKB piercing abilities. They'll go over. Sight of his Searing Chains coming through. Ice Blast on it. Ooh, Fire Snap Cookie not in time. He's able to ball lightning away. They've got the stun onto this Snap Fire. So FY has to be careful. Good arena around two. Looking for the finger, but as he charges it up, he gets Spear to the wall. They end up getting the kill. Kaka, they're gonna ball lightning all the way in looking for some low on a man. I need to and be careful. Red Panda, he gets taken out. Yang might be next. They've got heroes low on the side of IG with Mortimer's kisses coming down. That's gonna leave the attention from Yang, and he misses the spear again. So he's morphed into this Ember. They've got the kill onto Emo. They've taken out the storm because of the help of Somnus helping out FY for a moment. Waveform away. Somnus still looking for more damage out in a fly fly. Yuris is holding on to the Omni Slash. And now Somnus, I if he's being this aggressive, you gotta assume he's got a remnant, and yeah, he's gonna back away. Yeah. I wouldn't mind if he had the, like good timing on Hand of Midas, gets Hand of Midas, transitions into a core later on, because Night Stalker talents are so-so, nothing too special, Fly until Fly. you get to level 25. Chains, Ice Blast comes in, Fly Fly gonna try and waveform away, but they have a remnant, they're gonna massively TP over towards mid, the Side of Fist once again on the Fly Fly, now the Mortimer's Kiss is coming in at a distance, is he gonna shatter? Oh, he'll FY die to him. FY, he'll snipe him with the Mortimer's Kisses, they go with the ball, and they get the kill on a Red Panda, but he's already thrown the Ice Blast, so it doesn't matter that they kill off this Ancient Apparition, but the finger, the damage, Yuris, he's gone too, Emo with the double kill. The turn is probably not what oh, Elfin were expecting. They want more. And now they're gonna look for more, but Yang, he's coming over, trying to help out. They've got three heroes in a slight pit position here, IG. But they get the arena down just on Kaka, so they kill off this line, and they look over, maybe getting JT, maybe getting Ali. Fire Snap Cookie on the mark, hits the Enchantress, Searing Chains once again, locking him down in a slight from Somnus, puts him on a dominating spree. And that ends up being, I believe, three here for the side of Elephant losing just two. Storm gets a double kill, which is what matters. Unfortunately, they lost Fly Fly. He's getting closer to that Manta style. We'll be able to get rid of the chains. This uh, Mars actually doing so much work. Yeah, Mars is well, doing work, not but right he's getting now. collapsed on. Ooh, Ice Blast coming through, ball any wave for him. And now they get the kill to Fly Fly. That's back to back death. And Emo, he's low too. He's got to shatter. shattered to the Ice Blast of Red Panda. Oh, IG, IG, what are you doing? Especially Morphling. Storm Spirit not going for Orchid. At least not now. You can't dispel the silence from the Night Stalker. So status resistance feels much, much better mm -hmm. than the spell mechanic in this one. Ooh, they're right on top of Somnus. They caught him. That's JT going in with the Blink as well as the Crippling Fear. Despite the fact that, you know, it's only a four second silence. That's more than enough time to get the kill. Everyone's itemizing into BKB on side of Elephant, which that I really like. They have no abilities that go through magic immunity. Drug switch. He switched, yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> you, how many times a day do you do this? <laughs> I mean, that's why I'm here, you know, I could yeah, say. Yeah. 
Crippling Fear. They've got the stun of the finger to blow up Uris. That's the power of JT. Just going in with the Crippling Fear, there's nothing you can do if you don't get the Blade Fury off before he jumps in on you. So they smoke up on Elephant. They're going to try and go for the long wrap round. They know that IG were in their jungle. They'll try to find and spot somebody. Ollie might be in the proper position to break this smoke. Actually, JT on the high ground might do it himself. Smoke gets broken. Remnant onto the high ground. They'll look over with BKB being popped by Somnus going after JT. And can they catch him? Scatter Blast, Cold Feet, Chilling Touch. Somnus has the kill. Emo comes over for a second. He's got the BKB, so never truly in much danger, but it could have turned into something devastating had it been caught. And FY with another kill on Ollie. So they do get two kills out of that. They move around the map. Interesting, considering AA more of someone who's going to sit a little bit further back than FY with the way he's been playing. I think his way of thinking is, I need to tank up Emo. Oh, I he's think Emo trying to go in for this. Roche is going to be really low. He's caught the BKB, but is he going to get Roche down and done? They've got themselves the snatch onto Somnus. They get the kill on Roche, but they also hit the East with Ice Blast uh, Emo's on Emo. Die. He's dead. He comes in trying to make a big move, but comes up. Eh, semi -empty. Not, not worth Not it. what he wanted. He does not even have a TP. He's bringing something on the career. It's TP, which is ready. But yeah, I, I think they use this information and get the immediate jump. Scan also connects. Ooh, Jug now sitting mid. He actually TP closer to the smoke. They're going to ball lightning in. They've got the hex as well as the silence. So they use the finger. Can they get the kill here on Yuris? Yes, they can. They blow him up. It's everybody coming in from IG to get this kill. And he TP closer to that exchange and yeah. nicely executed. Like this observer ward that was just placed will get divorted, but they're trying to protect it. They they know the jug will not buy back in this situation. He does not even X have it. Ball lightning same spot. on to Yang. That's exactly where you just lost Yuris. Somnus, so he's gonna get the kill on Akaka. JT, he's diving into the base under the tier three. They hit him oh, with JT's I believe dead. the ice blast. They've got the BKB. He's gonna try and run away with the right clicks coming from Fly Fly. Red Panda ends up dead, but JT goes down. Yang's gonna follow suit. Mortimer's kiss is coming in. That's gonna be out on top. Oh, he's trying to heal up with the nature's attendance, but ends up falling. So they lose the enchantress. They've got Somnus trying to help out FY, who ends this stun with the fire snap cookie, but the E Blade and the adaptive strike takes out the Aegis. Fly Fly trying to TP out. He'll do oh, so. Nice, nice done there by Fly Fly. Gets the kill, gets the Aegis uh, off of them. But now you're stuck with that Sanj. Well, what are you going to do with Sanj? I don't think you want to upgrade it to Heaven's Halberd. Seems like it's just going to be a casual one. Kaya Sanj? No, thank you. Next. Double damage is down, and Yuris... He's afraid. He, oh, he's yeah. not going to go get it. He's actually going to get it bottled by Somnus. Meanwhile, over in the triangle, they get to kill in a red panda. Does not have buyback at the moment. As in Tering, oh, going all the way over. They've got the remnants with the BKB. They blow up Emo. They're going to go for more. Fly, fly. Wave for him, trying to get out. He's morphed into the Ember Spirit. He throws a slide onto Yaris, who uses that blade for you. They've almost got Kaka dead with a remnant coming over. They get the kill. Somnus, he's on a mega kill streak. They look over at Fly, fight with the Flame Guard. Side of his here. Jade's coming through into the Ember as well as the Jug. Wave for him away. He does have that TP, but he doesn't use it. They've got the Arena. Can they land a spear? Yes, they can. Mortimer's Kiss is coming through. And a Fly, fly. They'll get the kill out of the Morphling, taking him out for 80. A big counterplay coming in for Elephant right there. He's so tanky, he's so strong, survives the onslaught, comes back in. And Fly Fly, he's trying to make some plays here, move to the Ember. And Chantress, try to go in a uh -oh. bit too late. Like, you, we know, because we can see everything, but uh, he's going to pay with his life for it. Four staff into Roche Pit. But they get the tier three, and they're going to go for the racks. Ball lightning in. They've got the silence onto the jug. No worse for wear. And now Fly Fly morphs into the jug. They took the melee racks and they have these creeps pushing up towards top. Fly Fly, he's just an observer right now to what's happening in the top lane. Yang comes over, spear lands onto the line. Who's trying to blink into me? Get an X available. Stun. And this that's going to get popped. Kaka trying to survive this. So is Fly Fly, who's going to wait for him out of the arena. They've got themselves Emo as well as JT going on to Red Panda. They get the kill of the Ancient Apparition with the BKBB pop by JT. But now Omni Slash bouncing around, doing a lot of damage. They get the spirits on a Fly Fly. Can they get the kill on a Morph Link? Mortimer's Kiss is coming through. Oh, the Fly silence. Fly will eat for him away. And Fly Fly forced to have to even further back. They'll keep alive the Morph. They fought back on Ollie. They're going to ball lightning forward with the Vortex onto the Ember, but isn't going to be enough damage. They've got the Impetus shots through from Ollie, but he just does not feel it. it. Looks like they're maybe even looking to initiate once again. No Ancient Apparition at the moment. 
Ball Lightning cutting the creeps. Oh, for a second, he was vulnerable. Kaka looking for the stun as well as the finger. Can he get Not the cheese off? Damage. Wave form fuels into the air. And they look for a They've got the Blade Fury. He'll eat the cheese. He's popped the BKB. He goes to the arena. There's three heroes inside the arena, but Flyfly, thanks to morphing into the jungle, he's able to Blade Fury out of the arena. They get the kill to Kaka as well as Ami. They look over at this, this emo storm. They'll take him out. Three heroes dead. Wave form away, but they've got themselves the remnant coming in from Samus. They'll be right on top of Flyfly. Fly. And well, this Fire Ember Spirit will turn this. This morphling made of water into steam, or hope to, uh, as they just have new mind control. Chase potential. And they're still going. Fly Fly trying to run, but there's the spear. There's the God's Rebuke. And Sonnus gets the kill on a Fly Fly. That'll be four dead on IG. Nothing lost here on Elephant. They are 16k ahead. Usually, IG GG's out here, but this time around, they. They aren't. They still feel they have one extra fight in them, which I respect. I was a bit worried, but there they just is. called. There it is. Kaka says Kaka's uh, the one. Enough. He is the one who calls the GG first for Team IG. And uh, yeah, good showing from Elephant, especially Somnus on a mid lane. His Ember Spirit pretty much should dominate throughout yeah. the whole game. Only managed to die once. Uh, also good Roshan takings by them. Emo trying to go for a risky play. I'm That's going IG. I want three games. Ooh. IG as well. Creepscape against the Ursa a little bit, make the axe rich, protect the egg. All on you, so Black. Way, way to win. They hit level 3 before. So, Yang, a bit limited on mana, still has enough for combo. So, could potentially threaten a kill. Battle Hunger, Red Panda, one more shot, and it'll be the Battle Hunger that gives JT the first blood. Yuris jumping on the JT, trying to do as much damage as he can. Morbid Mask done, so he can potentially go to jungle, just let 3 and Protector leech. It's too much harassment from these two heroes, so he might actually die, he's dead. Yeah, Icarus dive over him, Fire Spirit's trying to get the heal from the tree and put the right click in from JT. It's a big kill for them to get shut down Yuris. Maybe he felt pressured into taking the living armor with the pressure coming on. Well, maybe I feel pressured to run down mid by Shadow Amulet. Uh, he's gonna die here unless he TPs. Axe does not have a point in Berserker's call. They don't know that. a significant amount of damage standing in the nature's grass. Okay, but... they decide not to chase. Too much XP. Vanguard done on Axe, so he's pretty unkillable. Ali dying as they've got the damage coming out from FY and Yang. Grabbing their first kill. Land a stun. They've got a spear out of mana. He's got five charges on that one, but on the run and now hexed. One more shot from Fly to get the finishing blow on Flyfly. Meanwhile, Vortex, right clicks, Emo. Ooh, they've got the Searing Chain, Zikris dive in. They've brought two supports over. Somnus, though, he's in too far and he ends up dead. Somnus had so much advantage on him and now he kind of loses it. Because that Blink Dagger is their opening, right? That's their initiator. They, they do have the Ember. They could slide a Fist Searing Chains, but if you get the Blink Call before that, that feels even better. And something that Zai has done. Manta style on Axe with the Shard. Right. Ursa coming over. They've got the Hex Overgrowth. Ooh, Static Storm comes in. They'll use the finger. They're trying to drain the mana away from this Ember who will rip it away. So all that damage is for naught as they go after Yang. They've got the Sight of Searing Chains. Can they get the kill here onto the Mars? It looks like they can with the Remnant forward. It was a four-man overgrowth, but it doesn't turn into anything. And Yuris is forced to try and TP away. And he has done so. However, call out onto FY. And, uh, he misses that Earth Spike, and eventually he'll be cold. Is he going for Orchid? Maybe he goes into... Uh, uh, this is this is getting scouted. Ollie, oh, not fast enough. Oh, Static Storm, though, with the call coming through, they've got themselves a kinetic field, and Storm's gonna be blown up here. No, I'll he's miss. got the ball lightning. The calling blade, it's not enough. They do get the kill in the FY. They take out Red Panda's courier. Do you like this defusal over everything else? I really do. I really do. I was not that big fan of Ursa Battle Fury. Especially after the nurse, the Battle Fury, this seems uh, a bit more needed type of a build. Ball lightning into the call of JT. They've got the Vortex, they have Fly Fly coming over. He's trying glimpse. to ball lightning away, but he gets glimpsed back. And now they've got another call, call once again. They've taken out his Aegis. Hex, Spear, lands with the finger. Fly Fly blown up. Ball lightning looking for more, and his attention is on the Kaka, who will Icarus dive away. Going in a little far, but will that be a problem here for Elephant? They've got the call on the two once again. Buy but it's just fly, not fly. enough damage on the Sonic just yet. He's got the battle hunger. The Thunderstrike got five him. Five men overgrowth. 
but it's defensive. It's to leave. It's not anything that's going to be followed up on right now. It's still good overgrowth to make something happen, but the blink as well as the call coming in from JT on a two once again. They've got themselves the Omni Slash. There's the static storm coming, but it's not enough damage. The spear, fly, fly. He's pushed back. He's got the healing word out to try and sustain this team. Ursa wanted want to focus to him keep down. Going. Oh, yeah, you're always hoping for it whenever you're playing position <laughs> four and five. You know, sending my thoughts and prayers to Ice Frog, fingers crossed. Give it that Philosopher's Stone, free gold. Looking for a blink call here on Tyrus, probably with a supernova. If they want to just commit to it. Side of Fist Searing Chains, will they even need it? He goes to the ult, and now they've got the Quips. So they stop the TP, Kinetic Field. Eurus now may need to turn and just throw some damage out, but unfortunately he can't. And he ends up killed off by JT. But most of the time you're gonna get that the Glimmer Cape, get maybe Medallion, Solar Crest. But Holy Locket, I think it's in a good state. Maybe if we buff him a bit more, this item could become like real popular. Smoke broken ball, and again, they've got the blink as well as the call. And now they've got the static storm that's going to be on the two of these heroes. They walk out of the connect field, now they've got the glimpse back. So now, storm, silence, in some trouble. They get the kill on the Kaka, they also trade on the FY. Ball lighting away, Summon's trying to survive. He's got the battle hunger on them, they get the kill on the JT. They've dropped down the arena, and Eurus, there's nobody for him to jump on just yet. It's a two for one in the favor of Elephant. Philosopher's Stone, but for, for the enemy team. But Holy Locket already done. This looks so funny. Trend Protector, Brown Boots, Holy Locket. <laughs> These are the items. Call again. He's Sam trying to is. use the Holy Locket. He got it. Wow. Just gets to survive on the storm. Red Panda probably not as lucky. That's a good move by Red Panda. You know, the community and whatnot, they see Red Panda as a guy they don't know the name of. And, the and he's, the, he's yeah, the scapegoat. Yeah, yeah of, of course. You know, it's always easy to blame him because you have these four players big that, yeah, big names that uh, play the TIs. Ball Lightning Orchid coming through. They've got the follow up from FY, but can they get the kill? No, Yule's up into the air. They still have the damage to get the kill on the Emo. Now they're going to take out this Supernova that was used for nothing. They look over at Fly Fly, they have the Yules. They have the spear to follow it up. So we'll see. They do not, but they, they can get a good jump on Disruptor. Yeah, they'll take out Ollie. He's on the run and ooh, missing the spear again, but FY's in it with the blink. He needs. Okay, he has the damage talent. Blink call on to two. Maybe some damage on to Yang, but just doesn't look quick enough, and they pop the BKB for that. 25% magic resist, 8 spell damage. You know, that new meme. You get. <laughs> this spell damage, yeah, 25% magic resistance. And they go to the blink call, they've got the Omni also committed. Well, Yule's up into the air. Static Storm, this is all coming through for the Mars. Mars is still alive. And he's still alive. He should eventually fall here. And finally he does. But he gets the arena down beforehand. They've got the finger as well as the move in from Yuris. They've got the damage to take out Ema. They'll look over J2 who's out of mana. The Sunray keeping them at least healthy for now. They'll use that bull whip onto the jug and run Another him out. Another buyback. Emo decides to buy back here. Let's see if they decide to smoke and then, yeah. It, it seems like it's going to be smoke, uh, try to get a pick off potentially, and then turn that into Roche. Right now, IG just holding a high ground. They have not much to work with. Ball lightning into the hex. They've got the spear with the gods at the same time. JT, he'll die to Eurus. That's a kill into the axe. Elephant thinking about going into Roche. Now they bought back on axe. They've bought back on all three cores now. They're going to try and make a play here. Fly fly though. Yule's into the air. Static Storm is down. That means no spear with the BKBB pop by Eurus. They'll go over with the ball lightning as well as the Orchid out onto this Ember. Well, they'll glimpse back the storm. Emo just surviving. Overgrowth comes in. You've got Flyfly fly low. He ends up dead for 74 seconds. You, you gotta remember, he fought back earlier, and he is dead for so long. Earthshock applies 1.5 seconds enrage buff and reduces the cooldown by one second. So now you have Cheese Ages plus a shard. Dasher next for the Ursa, Red Panda. He has had pretty much just consumables in that quick buy for a long time. He's finally got a Glimmer Cape there. Orchid, but blink away. Now they've got the Vortex. Sunray coming out. Spear lands on a fly by. He's in trouble. The damage is out. They've got the Earth Spike. They'll get the kill. He's dead for 49 seconds. He doesn't have buyback. They've also killed off Ollie, and they're looking for more. Kaka Yule's up into the air. Can he get away from this one? Supernova. That's going to be used. Slide up the Searing Chains as well. The call. Good call to go protect well it. For IG. For the Overgrowth. The BKBs. They've got the Supernova going off. And this is all for Yang, potentially. 
He is so tanky, he's on the run, finally glimpsed, but it takes so much to kill him. Orchid out, Static Storm through, finger onto JT, they will blow up the Axe who bought back recently, and he is dead for 77. Somnus does not need to die here. They're chasing Emo. Stun. Oh. oh. I think if IG loses one more fight, they GG out. From what I've seen in Season 2, they they just love to call it. And there goes Om. Looking over for another. As FY, he's getting right clicked here. On the side of committee, yours goes into the enrage, and that Omni just doesn't do anything. So now they're the ones running the opposite way because they've got the help from Samus. He comes through, they look over at Wi-Fi. Can he survive? Blade Fury away, he's got the healing ward. Samus' Aegis is used. Yule's up in the air, coming through onto Emo. Pops the BKB as he lands. Slide of Fist Searing Chains is available, so they get the Searing Chains out onto the storm. Maybe IG King, well, I say that, they double smoke. Okay, might have been a little bit of a mistake. Disruptor. He's two components away from finishing off this Axe. They want to go towards bottom. And this is for FY BKB from Emo. That's a lot. I don't know if you needed to use the BKB to get the kill on FY, but sure. It was a seven second BKB, so you don't care about using it anymore. Okay. You just pop it. It's down to six. It does not get lower. It's cool down for a while. Blink call coming through. This is on Yang and is it going to be enough damage this time? Half the lesson's been learned. They go to the nature's grass. Yuris jumps in with BKBB, popped by JT. They've got the Yules up into the air. Kaka, he's hitting off the side of that arena wall and kind of gets forced to use the supernova. They've got the static storm as well as the kinetic field. Overgrowth, well done by Red Panda again to get that control. But they've got the stun from the supernova hitting on him and Yuris turning this one around and looking Buy to get the kill. Yang. They fought back on this Mars, but he doesn't have the arena to work with. They'll start to run on IG. They find themselves JT, do a lot of damage. The glimpse isn't going to help. It's actually going to let Somnus leave for free. He gets a kill and gets sent back. Two buybacks expended. Honestly, Storm wants to buy. If he just gets a free one, he could spend 3,500 more gold somewhere else. I, I don't think it would be a bad idea to give it to Ursa. Like when he's disabled during the axe call, you can still Spear. use it. Oh, he he's very dead. Jules up into the air, remnant away. They use the static storm. And with no disruptor, no static storm, Roche may even feel pretty free for Elephant. Uh, probably it's gonna be Storm Ages, but I want to see the axe. I would give it to Ursa. Yeah, or Ursa picks it up. Just gotta love my 50% uh, status resistance all the time. I uh, just can't be stunned. Damage reduction, casual 80, not even 100% damage reduction. A scan connect, so they know something is up. And they're gonna right click in on the GT. They've got the finger as well as the hex. They'll get the kill. The remnant's away from Emo. Ooh. Red Panda, he was there, ready to go. Uh, you, you give Timeless Relic the Storm Spirit just to be able to have that pull with the Aghanim Scepter, longer duration, more damage from all of his abilities. Going into Shiva's Guard. Static Storm with the Ags plus the Talon upgrade. Blink Call. They've got the Supernova. They're going to come over. They've got themselves the Vortex. They look over the Disruptor. They're trying to get the kill here. Can they take out the Ag? No, no. they can't. But they've got the silence out of the Disruptor. He still hasn't got the Static Storm off. Yule's up into the air. They're going to get the Kinetic Field as well as the Static Storm. They've got the Mute on to Sun as he's in some trouble. But Ali ends up dead. There's no follow up to the Static Storm because they lost themselves their Ember. It's Emo's just a gone. Static Storm on one. Emo has a buyback. Like, he needs to use a buyback. Otherwise, they lose two set of barracks. Abyssal. Back committed. There's the call looking for it. Didn't get it off. I believe the silence was in time. They've got the Earth Spike. JT still being pulled in. Now they've got the Hex and the damage. They get the kill onto the Axe. And speak up, my friend. I believe this is it. I don't think they have enough damage. Swift Slash, Abyssal Blade, Bashes. Uh, they can just lock him down. Yeah, Fly Fly trying to run. Right clicks in. They missed the Earth Spike. They're still on the retreat. They've got the Spear. Fly Fly. He's not going to make it out. They are godlike. They've got Jug with a buyback, not something you really want to use. Slide of Fist Chains coming through. They've got the Disruptor back up, but they don't have the Static Storm. They've got and the right place, and there's the GG. So, what, zero high ground towers? Yeah, I told you. You know, this, this is how IG, when they lose, they don't lose a tier 3 tower. It's really not necessary. I think it comes down to that, that they have a good understanding of what can be done in yeah. the game in the certain situations that they're in. I also respect that.
But we gotta give credit to Elephant in oh, this one. Sure. They came prepared.